Keisha, what's up, guys? Your boy, motherfucking hacker, Andrew here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run Windows 95 on a PS3. Now, I want to go ahead and say that uh, people are asking all over the forums, uh, they're asking questions like, well, can I install, you know, Windows, um, you know, Windows Me, Windows XP, uh, Windows Vista, Windows 7? Um, you know, sadly to say, you cannot, um, I believe you can do Windows Me, but there is something that you have to do to the file. Um, you have to open the actual ISO. Um, and mess around with a bunch of files before you do it. But uh, Windows Me is compatible, I believe. Um, the minimum uh, RAM required is about 50 megabytes or so. I believe it's 100. The PS3 comes with about 500 internal. Uh, and I believe it takes out 200 external from a different source. I don't remember where it's from. But you get a you know a pretty good uh, 500 uh, 500 megabytes of RAM. Now usually Windows XP runs at a 512 megabytes, um, and it can it, it goes pretty slow. But uh, today I'm going to be working with you guys and showing you guys how to do this. And I want to go ahead and uh, do a quick little shout out real quick to iMod like Call of Duty or iMod COD like God I should say. Um, sorry for mispronouncing that. He basically posted everything on the website. I kind of edited it a little bit, made it a little bit more of a understandable. Um, he wrote, you know, Mount C and then, you know, squiggly slash win 95. You know, I added the little blinking space because uh, the little, you know, blinking spaces um, because it, you know, it clarifies things a little bit. So first things first is come to the website, come download the things that you need, which are going to be right here, um, which is going to be the, uh, <clears throat> the, DOS box and the uh, Windows 95 file. Once you do that, go ahead and grab your DOS box, Windows 95, and go ahead and plug in your flash drive. Go ahead and drag those to your uh, flash drive. Um, then go ahead and eject it, grab your flash drive, and then we can go to our PS3. Now, I want to go ahead and tell you guys right now that the DOS box does support a USB keyboard and a mouse. So if you want to do that, um, go ahead and plug in your mouse and your keyboard. You are going to need it. Um, you can either SSH or do what I'm going to do uh, in order to transfer the Windows 95 file into the PS3. You can load it multi-man and do it from there. So go ahead and uh, plug in your USB drive here real quick. Bear with me for a second. Okie dokie. Alright, it's plugged in. Um, we can go ahead and proceed to go to install package. Install package files, standard package location. DOS box and we're going to go ahead and install that. Let's go ahead and load that up there. We're going to go ahead and press enter or circle I should say. I'm over here using a keyboard. Um, after you're done with that you guys can see you guys have a new icon here, DOS box. We're just going to be patient and go over to your file manager, um, your FTP, whatever you're going to use. I'm going to be using Multiman's file manager for this um, since I already have the Windows 95 file on my USB drive and it's a lot faster if you do this um, instead of uh, FTPing it. Um, Alright, so I know it's a little blurry. Um, I do apologize for that. Let me see if I'm zooming it. No, that's not going to do anything. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to make your way over to HDDO. You're going to have to use my, uh, my words here. HDDO. Then you're going to go over to Game. Then you're going to scroll down to HBDB9000. So that's HBDB90000. You're going to press X. Then you're going to go into User Dir. And that's it. That's the location where you're going to paste your Windows 95 file. So we're going to go ahead and jump into USB, and we're going to copy the Windows 95 folder, the whole folder, um, and I'm going to copy it. So there it is. There's the actual location. Blow it up there for a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. I'm going to transfer all the data. It's about 200 megabytes. We're going to go ahead and load this up. Um, so we're just going to be patient with this. I do apologize for this. And once again, guys, um, the guide will be on the website. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to message him um, and message me as well. Leave a comment. If you're confused and you still don't understand this, then that's cool. Um, just leave me a comment. I'll try to help you. After you're done transferring the file, go ahead and quit out of that. We're going to go ahead and jump into the DOS box, and we're going to do a little bit of command prompting um, so we can actually boot the Windows 95. <clears throat> So once again, I'm using a mouse here. Go ahead and plug in your keyboard. It's better preferred. Um, if you don't have a mouse and a keyboard, that's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll teach you guys how to do it anyway. So go ahead and launch DOS, DOS box. Sorry about that. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and put my commands here. All right, so right off the bat, I do want to say that if you do not have a keyboard and a mouse, if you click the L3, you're going to get an on-screen keyboard. So there it is. And by the way, if you guys are still confused on how to do the squiggly, 
Um, you hit shift and you hit the squiggly. I know the squiggly is not in the center. It's on the top. Don't worry about it. Uh, I was a little bit confused myself when I saw that. So just bear with it. Um, all right. Um, so if you click L3, you can bring up the keyboard and take it off. Um, after you do one line of command, um, you, you know, the screen will go under the keyboard. So you can't really move the keyboard. Um, and if you click R3, you can switch between joystick and mouse. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the keyboard. And uh, you're just gonna, I'm just going to copy these files here, these, uh, these commands right here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these up, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first things first is we're going to start with uh, mount, which is M-O-U-N-T, mount, space, C, space. And then remember, shift and squiggly, and then slash win 95. And then we're going to press enter, and it's going to say that it's mounted. We're good to go. Then we can proceed to the next step. Now we're going to go ahead and put C colon, and then we're going to press enter. Then we're going to proceed with I M G, M O U N T image mount space A, space W ninety five dot I M G. Now we're going to press enter. And then we're going to proceed to type in boot B O O T space W ninety five dot img then we're going to proceed by pressing enter and we're going to go ahead and hit that and it's going to go ahead and start up so we're just going to bear with it for a second here once again i am using a keyboard and a mouse so it's going to make it a lot easier um, i still haven't gotten the internet explorer to work on this thing it's <laughs> it's a pretty good 15 years uh, ago and it's a big difference compared to a mac so you know it's not my field but it'll be pretty cool so it is what it is, guys. Just a quick little video. Um, it's about six minutes, seven minutes into this video already. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you. Hopefully it'll load before the 10 minutes are up. Um, you know, I like to keep it short under 10 minutes. So we're at seven minutes and six seconds. Um, you know, no worry here. No rush. Just, you know, take your time. Once again, guys, don't forget to check out the website. You must be subscribed to the, uh, subscribed. Where the fuck am I going? You must be signed up to the website in order to gain access to the forums. Um, so if you want to be part of a great community on there, I'm still working on the website, but it's getting built and I'm getting some great, great help. All right, guys, we're going to go and wait for this to load. Um, we're going to wait for this to mount already. It's going to take a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. Um, just bear with it. All right, so there it is, uh, Windows 95, fully installed on our PS3. All right, so I'm at eight, I'm at eight minutes, actually. I'm actually going to be able to show you guys a little bit of what this looks like. Um, so that's pretty cool. So the screen went black a little bit. I'm sorry I keep, you know, popping that thing up. It's just basically telling me how many seconds are going by. So there it is. There's my mouse. I'm just going to go and wait for this slow-ass fucking Windows 95 to load. So go ahead and start off by setting up the time. That's the first thing you do. I'm just going to click OK just because I'm in a little short of time here. <sighs> All right, we're at nine minutes. I have about 60 seconds to show you guys this. So here it is, guys. You guys are running uh, Windows on your PS3. I know you'd never thought you'd see the day. So there it is, guys. There's actual proof that you're running Windows. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Hit the subscribe button. All right, guys. Peace.